while I like um, all these invaders uh, in the background over here, I kind of want a little I want to add a bit of a three-dimensional element to it. And I want to have some of these guys actually on top of the red, right? Because if you look at this guy up top, top left, and to the right over here, they're all behind my, uh, my red article. But I want a couple of them to peek in front of it. So, you know... There's a couple of different approaches you could take to this um, problem. Uh, and and let, let me point out the worst approach to this. The worst way to add this aesthetic look would be to add um, in the HTML images that you're going to put and then you could position all around. That's bad because um, you're just adding imagery to your HTML, or you're adding stuff to your HTML that's uh, non-semantic. And that's not what HTML is for. HTML is to provide content and semantic meaning to that content. So we want to add this via uh, CSS somehow. Well, there are some old uh, CSS2 pseudo classes that are perfect for this job that have been around for a while. I think they've been underutilized on the web, but um, I think you'll see the power that they have. So, well, you know what, let's just jump right into it. I'm going to pick an element on my page that I'm going to attach this image to. And I'm thinking my header. And here's what I'm going to do. The reason I'm thinking my header is because my guy is going to float around the header over here and sort of to the right. So that's, that's why I'm uh, approaching it from that perspective. Um, I'll go header and let me zoom in over here and I'll go before and what I'll do now the before and after elements take the content attribute and let me start off with uh, not what I'm gonna do just adding you know text content hello here we go now by doing that this is probably the most elementary use of before and, and uh, after if I refresh it Check this out. All of a sudden, I got some hello text in here. Um, and I can't actually select it with my cursor. I'm trying to double click on it to highlight it. I can't do that. And it, actually, this content isn't appearing in, in the DOM tree, so I couldn't actually mess with it via JavaScript either. Um, but well, you're thinking, wait a second, you, just a second ago you said i got to separate my content from my presentation, you know, CSS and HTML. Well, this is meant to add, uh, uh, I guess, uh, presentational content to your page. And, what, you know, one use for this would be, imagine if I put my email address up here and I wanted people to click on it. What if I, you know, I could do something like uh, I put, like, email in here. I'm just going to quickly show you. I put email in here, and then in the HTML, where it's relevant, I actually put my email address. So it's almost like slapping a label on this thing, keeping it, uh, but keeping it uh, the separation clean. Because logically, you know that email doesn't have anything to do semantically. You're kind of just defining it for the visitor. So uh, with that introduction, let, let me show you how we're going to use it. Not only can you add content to this, uh, uh, like type text content, but you could also add actual files, data. And I'm, we're going to do just that. We're going to add some content. I created two images for, for this specifically. And one of them is this invader solo. And I'm going to add him there save it and then once I refresh bam look who just joined us so that's pretty cool but a couple things happen since he got put in there he pushed everything down because he's a block level element so if I want to get him out of the document flow and get my header back up to where it should be I can just simply go um, position and I'll select absolute and bam there we go. He's he's back up in there. Now, I want to push him over to the right over here, right? Right in the red, I want to push him to the right of the red. So because we're positioning him absolute, I could go right, zero. Now, before I save this, where is he going to go with this? Let's just see. This is this is one of these, it's, it's a absolute positioning. So uh, I'll refresh it and 
just to let you guess a second. Bam. Look where he went. He went too far. Remember, absolute positioning works in relation to its relatively positioned parent element. Now, the granddaddy, the big daddy of relative positioning who has a default uh, position of relative is HTML, the browser Chrome. So that's where it's going. But he's gone too far, if you will. And I want him to be, I want to do absolute positioning relative to the article. Well, that could easily be accomplished by adding position relative to its the parent container I want it to uh, be positioned towards. And there we go. So now I have them zero to the right. And I may, well, let's see. So, oops, here we go. Zero to the right. Let me give him a top of zero just to get it started. And uh, I guess there's a little bit of padding over here. Now, I'm not going to worry about that because I actually want to do a bit more than that. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go right. I'll move him, let's say, let's say two EMs to the right, negative two EMs to the right. And that pushes, see, and this is the effect I'm going for. I want to push him out into, into both so he looks like he's hanging over. Um, and actually, well, before I do anything, that's actually pretty cool. Let me resize my window to uh, the iPhone. Ah, he's a bit okay. So we're gonna need to add a more top because he's all he's all up in that header now, and and that's not uh, gonna do us any favors for uh, for making our font readable. So let me add negative two ems to the top and. I'll keep on pushing him up until, oh uh, yeah, he has a little bit more to go. There we go. That's I, I like that positioning. His foot's out of the way of the S. This is about as short as it's going to get. Um, I don't know who's using a device more narrow than the iPhone. So uh, if they are, well, sorry, pal. I can't help you. Uh, <laughs> I, tried, I, tr I tried my best. I mean, uh, the iPhone's already at 32 uh, pixels wide. So um, anyway, all right, cool. So I did just that with the just a before pseudo class in header.